Hello, how's it going? Welcome back to some more Grand Prix World and part two of our Mercedes F122 mod playthrough uh, and uh, on Grand Prix World. And uh, thank you very much for the support on part one. I really do appreciate it. Uh, we are up and running with Mercedes, of course. We've got uh, a new driver coming in next season because George Russell apparently didn't want it <laughs> to continue. Uh, job for today is to re-sign Lewis Hamilton and uh, make sure that we're in a good position for 2023. Leave a like if you enjoy. Get involved down in the comment section. All of that good stuff. And let's get into it. So, um, Carlos Sainz won his first ever Grand Prix in the last episode. That was good. Uh, Lewis Hamilton managed to finish second. Verstappen uh, had pole position at the last Grand Prix. Uh, Joel Guan Yu scored his first ever championship points. Got a sixth place finish, which was very, very impressive. Awesome to see. Uh, George Russell, uh, unfortunately, had to retire from the last Grand Prix. Haas have signed uh, Valtteri Bottas for next season which is uh, an interesting one uh, we've hired Adrian Newey we've poached him away from um, Red Bull which is awesome uh, Lucia Panessi uh, is running the commercial team at Ferrari um, Pierre Vac is going to McLaren uh, Phil Turner is going to Ferrari as well um, wow Aston Martin have gone imminent deal with Lewis Hamilton apparently uh, so we need to make sure that we're sorting that out very, very quickly. Um, we have got some regulations for next season's cars, which means we can start uh, on next year's chassis. Uh, let's have a little chat to Lewis Hamilton. And we got to make sure this one is good enough for him. Let's see. Yes, we have got Lewis Hamilton. Okay, that's good. Um, so we have re-signed Lewis Hamilton. He's not going to be going to Aston Martin as uh, feared. We have got uh, Sanders uh, continuing in the commercial role next season. Adrian Newey is coming over to the design department. Everywhere else is sorted out. Let's uh, beef out these departments a little bit and make sure that we're in as good a position as possible. Uh, on the design front... Get some excellence and very goods in. Very important that you have a, a good, strong team. Although it does cost a, a lot of money. But we should be bringing in a, a fair amount of funds from sponsorships. And also our FIA funding is going to be one of the top on the on the grid. So, um, got to be happy with that. Let's just have a little look at uh, how next year's regulations are shaping up. Um, is it this one? It's not this one. So we're currently uh, ranked fourth in the uh, funding, which is interesting. Uh, next year. So, okay. Chassis, middle range. Chassis is illegal. So we are going to have to build a new car for next year. It's not really going to be an issue for a team like us. But uh, other teams lower down the grid, they might struggle to f get a new car going. Uh, right. So mechanics-wise, we definitely don't want to be doing any development testing or tyre testing. Um, we're going to reduce these to 15% as well. Uh, so we've got plenty of mechanics left to do some of the um, the repairing of the car. Uh, we're going to do hundred and well, 200 miles of testing. Should we do that? Oh, 180. 180 we'll go for. Uh, Yep, we'll stick that on that and then do something like that. That seems good. Perform the testing. Uh, oh, okay. So that hasn't maxed it out, unfortunately. So engine and fuel are going to need a, a couple of more weeks on that. Uh, we don't have a test rig. That's a bit of an oversight from me. Ha. <laughs> Oops. Oops. Uh, I do think we want to get all of these built up if we can. I mean, probably as much as possible, if I'm honest. Uh, I mean, we probably want the best wind tunnel we can get. Yeah. Should we just go all out? Let's just go all out. It's it's going to be a costly exercise, and 
we might live to regret it, but I'm feeling risky. I'm feeling risky. I think we should have enough money to, to pay it off, so that's fine. Um, the team should be big enough that we can attract the sponsors and works deals and stuff like that fairly easily. Um, anyway, we need to go to our inbox. I will go back to doing testing and whatever soon. Uh, we did make a small profit. Nick DeVries is uh, joining us uh, next season, which is good. Uh, we have got Hulkenberg joining us as well next season, which is good. Uh, we are ready to upgrade the internal technology, which is perfect. Engine sponsors provided us with a new engine. Um, oh, the progress... Of, ah, I'm an idiot. We did the VIP stuff, but didn't even uh, bring any VIPs last episode. I've just realised that. Um, that could be a bit of a problem. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was very, very silly of us. It's a while since I've played this game, so do forgive me if I do get stuff wrong. Um, <laughs> that was stupid, though. That was completely stupid. Uh, VIP. Right, who do we want? We want uh, Patronus, Mercedes, and per Patronus. Uh, nah. Yeah, Pirelli I'm going to go for instead. That's fine. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, yeah, that's not going well. None of these deals are going... Oh, my goodness. Wow. I've never seen no bars of progress anywhere before. That's a little bit concerning. Um, the cars are pretty much dead. I think we are going to have to bring them up to speed. So, car one looks good. Car 2 is fine. We should get car 3 done, but car 4 is going to have to remain dead, unfortunately. Um, and car 3 is pretty dead as well. So, Hamilton's going to be in car... It has got a bit of damage. Ah. Well, Hamilton's going to be in car 2. Russell's going to be in car one, I think. It is what it is. It is what it is. Yeah, we can't do anything else with that. Hmm. This is tough. This is tough. Right. Uh, we can start work on our 2023 chassis, so I think we should start allocating some resources to that. Uh, we're ready to move on to the next phase of that, which is good. So let's go... 25%. Let's uh, allocate some resources to it. Um, probably take... Mm. Oh dear. This is not good. This is not good. This is usually stuff I was doing in me sleep with Sauber. Um, I guess that's a problem, you know. I'm, we're not at that stage yet. Right, let's pass the research on. That's not anywhere near. That's a good start for that. Okay, this is ready now. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> oh, right, okay. New design project. Um, we'll go 25%. I think we should throw some resources on the next year's car. Try and get the, the best that we can. That's absolutely fine. Right. Um... Other than that, we're not we're not having any upgrades for this Grand Prix, which is a little bit concerning, to say the least. Definitely a little bit concerning. We'll uh, replenish our roster of spare parts, and then we'll start looking towards uh, the next Grand Prix because commercial-wise, I think we're we're sorted. Um, not really anything to worry about there. Other than the fact that I've messed up the, the VIP stuff. But we've still got time to turn those deals around. We should be able to do that. But, um, yeah, it could be a little bit of a problem. Uh, Fuel-wise, we can improve. 
both aspects and if we do a, a full test next time that well, should be our final bit that we have to do with that uh, we should be able to get a decent amount of well, just two points I suppose uh, yeah that'll do that'll do okay right I think we're, we're okay now so driver orders fine Setup points. Uh, Hamilton's going to have a couple of windies, and let's go for that. And then uh, George Russell, I'm actually going to give him four wind. We'll see. Just experiment with it a little bit. Uh, we got a new engine and new fuel that we can use with both cars. Uh, and I think hards and softs are still the way to go. But uh, we still don't know because both drivers have failed. Uh, well, we haven't had both drivers finish in a race yet, basically. Uh, but now, third race of the season is in Argentina. Uh, 18 degrees, very dry, uh, low wind speed for your qualifying session today. Let's see how we get on. Can Lewis Hamilton do it? Hey, can. That's a decent P4 for Lewis Hamilton. George Russell in P5 on the soft tyres. Uh, Charles Leclerc takes a pole position, uh, a tenth ahead of Max Verstappen in second. Carlos Sainz is in third, and uh, both Mercedes drivers managing to out-qualify Sergio Perez in the Red Bull, which is good to see. Uh, then a big gap to Bottas in seventh for Alpha. Jo Guan Yu is in ninth. Uh, Alonso eighth for Alpine. A very, very close midfield, it has to be said. Uh, Norris and Ricardo will be slightly disappointed with their positions uh, and down at the back once again are the Andretti cars so uh, 18 degrees overcast for the race and it is high wind speed which will surely benefit Mr George Russell Lewis Hamilton once again will be going on the one stop at he's going to go for heat cycled tyres for the first Stint and then uh, brand new rubber for the second stint. George Russell will go heat cycled for the first stint, uh, fresh rubber for stints two and three. And let's see how we get on. Ooh, still not a race where we've had both finishing. George Russell finishes a decent fourth, a very distant fourth from Sergio Perez there, but Max Verstappen uh, wins the Argentinian Grand Prix. Uh, two seconds ahead of Carlos Sainz in second. Sergio Perez uh, finishes third. Russell fourth with Gasly, an excellent fifth for Alfa Tauri. Alonso in sixth for Alpine. Uh, Joe Guan Yu in seventh. Vettel eighth. Norris ninth. And Daniel Ricciardo rounds out the top ten. What happened to Lewis Hamilton? He had a suspension failure. Hmm. Interesting. Leclerc. Had an engine failure for Ferrari. Uh, looking at the driver standings, we've got Sainz uh, leading the way, eight point, uh, ten points, sorry, ahead of uh, Sergio Perez in second. Verstappen is in third, the world champion, of course. So Charles Leclerc is in fourth, with Russell fifth, and Lewis Hamilton in sixth, as it stands. Daniel Ricciardo, uh, best of the rest at the moment. Then into the constructors, we are still third, but starting to lose a little bit of ground from Red Bull and Ferrari, which is not what you want to see. Okay, right. Uh, we have got Hamilton, haven't we? I think everything is sorted for next year now. We've got um, Nick De Vries here till 2025, Lewis Hamilton here to the end of 24. Uh, Hulkenberg obviously joining us next year as our second driver. Yeah, all of these are sorted out, which is perfect. Okay, right. Uh, we did make a, a significant loss at the last Grand Prix. Doesn't really matter. Uh, we're ready to upgrade the car. Hopefully our technology is looking good. Yes, we have got our new stuff, and we have got a new and improved engine anyway. Uh... Right, let's have a little look. Right, so we've got a customer deal with Pirelli. Got good progress in the talks with Mercedes. Uh, we have got a customer deal with Petronas. Okay, cool. Fine. 
Fine, fine, fine. Right. Uh, Max Verstappen adds another race victory. Charles Leclerc had another pole position. That seems like 2022 in a nutshell. Uh, George Russell just missed out on the podium. Red Bull had a great race. Ocon has gone to Aston Martin. Uh, McLaren has signed Max Verstappen. Very interesting. Uh, the fastest lap of the Grand Prix was posted by Carlos Sainz. Uh, problems with the jack uh, caused problems for Alfa Romeo. Uh, Red Bull have signed Floki Inu to its sponsorship roster. Uh, Gunnar Steiner gets worst manager of the month, and uh, Frederick Vasseur gets the uh, manager of the month. Interesting. Okay. Right, let's keep going then. Let's keep going. So, what have we been given by Mercs? I believe that is the upgrade they've given us. However, that is the one that we are producing at the team. So, I think we will keep going with our own. Thank you very much. Uh, fuel is looking good. Okay. Uh, I'm going to dip into the land of commercial opportunity just for for a second um you can see patronus one bar of progress uh, along the way um engine suppliers uh, yeah we might struggle to get that work steel we are gonna have to work a little harder it would seem um yeah all of our deals are, are struggling has to be said um yeah we'll just have to hope that some of the the cash sponsors are still going around when we get to them, we're just going to have to go all out on the VIP stuff to try and woo them a little bit. Anyway, uh, let's have a look at the progress of our stuff so far. 2023 chassis coming along okay. Um, we're ready to move to model design for this year's upgrade. Should be good. Uh, Technology is ready to put onto the car. Um... I'm trying to get all of the performance levels up to at least three. So it's fine. Driving aid is on its way, but not imminently. Let's upgrade the technology on the car. Right, I think it would be wise uh, to perhaps take a few mechanics off. So that we can get our cars fully fixed up. And we'll compensate by throwing a bit more money down at testing so here we go oh that's nearly a, a disaster uh, 2020 yeah stick some more on the engine and the fuel Damn it. Right. Uh, just means we're going to have to do an extra round of, of fuel testing, which is a pity. I didn't want to have to do that, but it's okay. Right. Uh, right let's just increase those a little bit. We, we want a, a fully maxed out engine, ultimately. Um, um, it's whether we're fine with that. That's whether we're fine with, with without fully maxed out. Uh, it'll only take one more round. Let's let's not be too silly about it. Uh, we've got money. We certainly got money. Right. Uh, yeah. Let's pass on the research findings. Uh, da -da -da. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Right. Let's get these cars fixed up then. Let's get the damage off them first. Or at least get the damage off cars one and two. Nah, we, we have got enough. We have got enough, that's fine. Right, maintenance. I'll have to make some spares in a minute, which is good. Um... Yeah, I think we, we've we got enough mechanics to fix this up, which is good. Uh, we haven't actually got enough spares. I 
This is why you make all of the spares up so that you can just rattle through all of your car maintenance. But uh, now we've got four fabulous cars. Um, right, car one, car two. Nick DeVries can uh, use car three. And that's all very, very happy. Okie dokie then. I think that's all looking good. Commercial land is looking fantastic. I think. Um, we... Whoops. Oh, for goodness sake. Right, we can do that and do that. Uh, Hamilton. Give him a bit of something in a lot of areas just to try and improve his chances. Um, yeah, we want five, I think, don't we? Yeah. We want that fuel. I do think cards are the way to go, but uh, it's tough to, tough to tell when um, <laughs> not both of your cars are finishing so we are still going with that okay this looks absolutely fine just double check nothing else has, has come out since the last thing no nothing about those okay right let's head to the the next race of the season then here we go san marino grand prix or the emilia romagna Grand Prix, as it's called now. 25 degrees dry with an average wind speed, of course. Uh, now we're in Europe. It will heat up a little bit. Uh, Hamilton and Russell. Fourth and fifth has been our usual so far this season. How are we going to get on in Imola? Fourth and sixth. <laughs> so, um, only two tenths off pole position, though, which is pretty good. Carlos Sainz takes pole position. Charles Leclerc. There in second, Max Verstappen third with Hamilton fourth, uh, Perez fifth with Russell in sixth, Alonso qualifies seventh uh, ahead of Ocon in eighth, so Alpine starting to find their pace a little bit, Lando Norris qualifies ninth, and Pierre Gasly rounds out the top ten, nobody out of the 107%, but Andretti not looking very good at the moment. 22 degrees and dry for your race day today, uh, nothing to write home about there. Um, yeah, I think still going for the the one stop where Hamilton is is the way to go. I uh, just wish we could work on tyres. I think that would be a, a big help. Uh, I'm going to try fresh boot, boots all round this race. Let's see, two stops for George Russell. But let's see how we get on in the Grand Prix. Well, it looks like we've got a podium. Hey, second place, and again, one of our cars doesn't finish. Uh, but Lewis Hamilton, excellent performance from him. A second, second place of the year. That is telling me that, I mean, the both, both the races he's finished, he's finished second. So that's shown me the hard tyre, one-stop strategy is the way to go. Because Russell tends to be finishing fourth to sixth um, when he finishes. So... We'll try that next time out. But uh, Carlos Sainz wins it. Uh, eight seconds ahead of Hamilton, who holds off Charles Leclerc right at the end there. Verstappen and Perez a little bit further back in fifth, uh, fourth and fifth for Red Bull. Gasly, an excellent sixth for Alpha Tauri. Joe finishes seventh. Alonso eighth. Norris ninth. And Daniel Ricciardo rounds out the top ten. Uh, and George Russell apparently got in an accident with Sebastian Vettel. That is a shocker. I bet you that was after coming out the pits as well so that is a shame because who knows what he could have done in that race but Carlos Sainz now 25 points ahead of Max Verstappen uh, Sergio Perez on equal points with his teammate Leclerc drops back a little bit he's fourth Hamilton is fifth and Russell in sixth but Guan Yu Zhou seventh place at the moment very good uh, Mercedes currently third in the constructors but we're a long way off where we want to be, really. So that's a little bit concerning. But, um, yeah, I think that's pretty much where we want to leave it today. I do want to have a little look at how George Russell was doing in that last race before. Well, there's the, the fastest lap times. I mean, Russell, and 132.2. That was the second best lap of the race. That's impressive. So, uh 
Oh, it wasn't with uh, Vettel. So it was all on his own. What happened? Is it this one? So Russell started off pretty well. Uh, then pitted and came back out. And it was a little bit later on, wasn't it? So he was running in sixth position at the time of his accident on lap 41. So, yeah, very interesting that. Very interesting. Lewis Hamilton, meanwhile, he was... Uh, where was he? He was fourth a long time, and then he, he went up and didn't pit, of course. I mean, he led the race for a little bit. Um, did actually overtake... Uh, Charles Leclerc, I believe. I don't think Leclerc had, had pitted at that point. But, um... Yeah, there you go. There you go. So, yeah, when Hamilton came into the pits, he dropped down to second. Uh, so he wasn't... Or maybe that's when he pitted. But yeah, very, very, very good from uh, Lewis Hamilton. Second place again. I think he's, he's shown all of his capabilities on race day at the very least. And, yeah, but not a bad start to the season. Fifth and sixth at the moment. We've got a, an upgrade coming in the next uh, couple of Grand Prix. Just before we go, let's see how our commercial deals are getting along. Uh, so we have got a, a success card and a TV advantage to play. Um, but yeah, none of our deals are really coming along. So we might only have to settle for a partner deal with Mercedes this year. That is pretty crazy to be honest but um yeah that is where we will leave it for today's episode if you have enjoyed it give it a big thumbs up down below subscribe for plenty more grand prix world content and i hope you guys have a wonderful day thanks for watching and goodbye